So we have a block that's sliding across a frictionless horizontal surface that encounters a spring. So the block's mass is 2 kilograms and uh, the speed is 1.1 kilograms. And it says if the block compresses a spring 6.5 centimeters before coming to rest, what is the force constant of a spring? Well, let's draw a diagram real quick. So we have a, we have a little block and it's it's going at a constant speed of 1.1 meter surface on a frictionless horizontal surface until it encounters a spring. So we have our, uh, let me let me use, okay, so I don't know if you can see this, but this is a spring. So a spring, and then this is connected to some sort of, some sort of wall, some sort of wall. And let's make let's make this a, a flat surface so that it can be comp compressed. Okay. So now we have this is this uh, block that's going this way, and then it, and it encounters this, and then it comes to a stop. So basically, what this is saying is, from here, this is this is the uh, resting position of the string, and from here to whatever here, this is 6.5 centimeters or point point zero six five. 0.065 meters. Um, I just, well, yeah. So you just divide by 100 to get this. Uh, convert from centimeters to meters. 6.5, okay. Now, what is the force constant of the spring? Well, you see, <coughs> this block has kinetic energy when it hits the spring, and the kinetic energy, all of it, converted gets converted into the potential energy when it comes to rest. So, so we can say that we can say that kinetic energy is equal to the potential energy. Also, in another in another term in uh, in another term or in another in other words, the kinetic energy is being converted into potential energy. So what is the kinetic energy of this this object? Well, it's mv squared over r. And that's that's the same thing as 2 times 1.1 1 .1 squared or mv squared over 2, sorry, over 2 is equal to uh, equal to potential energy. And, and what is the spring potential energy? Well, it's just kx kx squared well, actually, I'm going to use this color. So kx squared over over two. So one half kx squared for most of it. So 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 the distance is k. Distance compressed is k. Um, 0 0.065 meters. So that squared over two. Okay. So now we just solve for k because that's the force constant. So the 2 cancels out. So the 2 cancels out. And we're just left with this. So if we just divide it divide this on each side, we get So that's going to equal to k. So let's do that on the calculator. So um 2 times 1.1 1 .1 squared all over 0 0.065 squared and we get k is equal to 572 point so I'm going to store that to k actually store that to k so so k is equal to 572.8 I'm just going to say 572.8 8 newtons per meter. All right. Now let's go to part B. What is the initial speed? What initial speed should the block have to compress the spring by 1.5 centimeters? Well, that's that's I, I guess um, that's actually the same thing as here, except we use 1.5 or we use 0 0.015 instead of 0 0.065 because you're you're um, compressing that much, and we solve for v this time. So we we know that all of the kinetic energy is getting converted into potential energy when it's coming to the rest. So when it's coming to the rest, so so mass is a uh, mass is two, 
and that's different for you. So, all right, I have mass of two, and the distance is one point five for me. So two v squared over two. Well, two's two's the over two over two. Th those things cancel out. So two v squared is equal to k, and we we got five seventy three for k. So five seventy three, and our x is one point five centimeters. But we, we need it in meters, so we're going to convert this into meters. So 1.5 centimeters is equal to 0 0.015 meters. So 573, that's k, times 0 0.015 squared all over 2. Oh, the 2 is already canceled out. So, so let, me, let me actually write that down. So 2s cancel out. So it's just mv squared is equal to 573 times 0.015 squared. Okay, so now we just solve for v, basically. So v, v is equal to the square root of square root of 573, 573, 0.015 times 0.015 squared all over 2. Because, we, because if we divide by 2 on each side, and then we take the square root of it. So that's how I got that. So let's plug that into the calculator. So the second uh, square root is 5. So 573 times 0 0.015 squared. So that's going to be our numerator divided by, divided by 2. It's going to be point, point 0.254. So velocity equals point two five four meters per second and that's basically how you solve part B so I hope I hope I helped you a little bit understand the concepts of physics a little bit better